What you are looking at here is about 1400 miles of training. And I'm missing about three pairs as well. One pair in Namibia, one pair in South Africa, one pair in Connecticut. 11 pairs of shoes for the course of training for UTMB. It really goes to show you when you have a passion for running, just how much time you spend on your feet. Now I have to pack half of these up and bring them with me to Europe. So I'm gonna walk you through them on the other side, show you what I've been working with and why I choose the shoes that I do or why I don't, if that is the case. So I'll give you a little walkthrough of what training for UTMB has meant for my footwear and what I'm choosing to race UTMB in as well. Let me pack this up, I'll catch up with you on the other side. What's up y'all, I'm coming at you from Chamonix, France. UTMB 2023 week, and tomorrow I run 106 miles around Mont Blanc, which is right there. As you can tell, I got the Chamonix Valley right behind me. Birds singing off in the distance, bees buzzing in the flowers, crickets cricketing. So before I get into it, I thought I would share a little bit about my shoe kit. Training for something like this takes a lot of shoes. You put a lot of miles in, thousands of miles so far, but you can usually tell how many miles you've gone through if you don't add it up and track it based on the amount of shoes that you've gone through. And for what you can see leading up to the race, I really love Saucony. I've always loved running in Saucony going back 12 years from when I started running distance. It's a shoe that fits my foot really well, and that's why I keep gravitating to it. I've always loved New Balance. I really like ultras as well. And being here in Chamonix, you see so many La Sportiva, you see Hoka's, uh, you see a lot of Solomon, and those are all great shoes. But for some reason, I just have never really run in them. I've tried them all, they're all great, but I find that the Saucony is a better shoe for my foot. So on the road, for me, that means the Kinvara. I love the Kinvara. I have been running in the Kinvara since version two, maybe three, I don't know onto version 13 now. It is a super light four millimeter minimalist shoe, easy run, fast run. I feel like I'm buying a pair of those every six weeks. They are a great comfortable shoe. So highly recommended on that. And then in partnership with the Kinvara, I have the Peregrines. This is another shoe that I'm just crazy about. I've been running in the Peregrine, which is almost the exact same footprint, very similar shoe to the Kinvara. It's just a very hardy, chunky, solid, uh, stable trail shoe. It has great lugs, really great rock plate here. It gives you a really good heel lock because you got a good high back on that heel there and can lock it in with the laces really well. And if you wanted to open up the laces with a different type of tie, you could do that and really open up the toe box. So I've gone through four pairs of these training for UTMB. I got a couple of pairs of the Gore-Tex version for when I was training in Colorado in February and March. And these are the 12s, but I did the 10s and 11 as well. Big fan of this shoe, but for UTMB, I wanted something with a little bit more heft. These here have a four millimeter drop, but I wanted something with a little bit more heft, something with a little more cushioning. So I went online, I asked a whole bunch of friends and I came back with a bunch of ideas. Some people recommended the Ultra Mont Blanc, funny enough, and the Ultra Olympia. And I tried both of them, great shoe. Hoka Challenger, again, great shoe, but I just don't feel like those shoes fit my foot as well as I prefer them to, or as well as this shoe always has. So I just said, you know what, why don't I stick with the family and try the Exodus Ultra 2 by Saucony. So I have two pairs of this and I'll be running in the Saucony Exodus Ultra 2 for UTMB. I like the shoe a lot. It's giving me a pretty good heel lock, which is important with the steep vertical gain. And it's tying really well around my ankle for the steep vertical loss as well. It's feeling good in the toes. I'm gonna be running in Ninjin G socks, which are the toe socks. So my toes are feeling pretty good in there so far. I did get a little bit of heel rubbing on the inside and that isn't abnormal for a new shoe for me. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna start with one pair and I'm gonna leave two pairs at the back half. I'm gonna leave a pair of these at my 50 mile in Kumayor, just in case these don't end up working out the way that I thought at mile 40 or 45. I can switch into the old tried and true. Or if these are funky and I just feel like I'm ready to switch into a fresh pair, I do have a 
second pair of these as well that I'm gonna leave in my drop bag. And also coming to Europe, I knew I was gonna have some fun running, coming off the trail, racing, enjoying some time in Greece or here in Chamonix. So I brought my Ultra Torrens, the Torrens 7. I got these a few months ago, had been really enjoying them. I've always enjoyed Ultra. The trail shoes have not always fit me just right, which is okay too. It doesn't mean that it's a perfect shoe for you, that's fine. But I've always liked their road shoe. Spent a lot of time running across South Africa in the Paradigms. I blew through probably four pairs of the Paradigms. Just wore out the entire heel. I graduated from that one and I went on to the Torin. I do like opening the laces, continuing to give a little bit more space in my arch. But if you know the Ultras, they're known for a wide open toe box. As you can see, they just have a very different toe box there. Just much wider, gives the toes a little bit more room to breathe and to spread. So I'm gonna spend a lot more time doing some recovery runs in these when UTMB is over. So that's my running kit for UTMB. And I'm feeling excited about it, excited to get out there and put my feet to the test. I've been dreaming about this for years and getting to put all this time and all these miles in with these shoes has not just been a really great test, but also a good affirmation of my physical ability and the goals that you set for yourself. The journey to get there is worthwhile. And that's what these shoes are a symbol to me. It just feels like a fulfillment of these little steps along the way. Every time you retire a new shoe, you say, thank you. There was 400 miles. You did me right. I'm going to get back to it right now. Have a great hearty, tasty meal before I have a long sleep tonight. Prepare for my big day tomorrow. This will go out after UTMB 2023, but still wish me the best and continue to watch these videos so that you see what happens afterwards. Thank you for tracking along on this journey with me. If you found this video helpful or interesting, or entertaining, go ahead and hit the like button. And for more adventure or running or travel content like this, go ahead and tap subscribe. I'd love for you to continue with me on this journey. I'm going to take off. Godspeed, safe travels, happy trails. Talk to you soon.